Welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in a city, and now I live in the Midwest on a farm, and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Yay! I'm so glad to be in Tammy's kitchen today. Tammy, you're such a good sport. You're always supportive. I really appreciate that about you. So. Well, you make it easy. <gasps> Thank yeah, you! You're That's the so easiest sweet. person in the world to get along with. So Mar Marcy and I were on the post-prom committee together. And I have always said, if there is any committee ever that I have to get on, if it's Marcy's, I'm there because it's positive and fun. That is the sweetest <laughs> thing ever. And, and let me tell you, post-prom committees are not for the faint of heart. No. <laughs> Best time, yeah, and time. it was so much fun. Yeah. And you have a big family that you are so for and all in, and so your schedule is full just with family stuff. I'm blessed, and I think we have a great community, Aww. and I'm happy to be part of it. Oh, and Tammy, you're really organized as far as that goes, right? I try. Yes, I would say yes yeah. for sure. Yeah, and it's just a gift God gave you. You don't stress about organizing things, correct? I enjoy it. I okay, enjoy it. and I just do it as I go. A lot of people have to like go through their house and clean everything, and yes. I just do it as I go <gasps> so that it's not stressful. That's wonderful. <laughs> have you always been that way? My mother taught oh. me that. <laughs> You have told me that you're so close to your sweet mama. Oh, my mom's the best. Oh! We talk, we talk every day. And, yeah. I love so, that. I'm a lot like her. So if you know my mother, then you know me. <laughs> oh, my goodness, and I don't know if I've met your mom. I don't know if you have either. I would love to meet her, because I'm, I'm close to my mom, and yeah. I love that you're close to your mom, and if she's anything like you, I mean, I like her already, Aww. so. Y'all, we just stopped the camera for a second, because this was singing to us. Look how gorgeous this is. I definitely love the black and white check of Mackenzie Child. It's gorgeous! So, Tammy, are you working right now? I am. So I actually have a couple of hats. I work part-time at the Hamilton Community Foundation. Love it! Um, which sometimes is more than part-time, but it's a labor of love. I just think there's nothing cooler than connecting people to community needs that makes the community better. So that floats my boat. Wow! And then I also work part-time at the pharmacy. So yes. I do marketing, human resources, the gift shop, and the Hallmark <gasps> the card. Shop. Oh That's my kind of goodness! Because your honey owns the pharmacy. Yes. Honey. Me. You talk about Wait. Pharmacy. We own the pharmacy. You own it together. <laughs> I love that. My dad, who's a retired doctor, he would call the pharmacy for years. And Jim is amazing. You guys are such a good team. We are a good team. It's like we have uh, complementing skills and uh, we work well together. I was a little worried what it would be like to work together. But oh, yes, how's that been? You know, we actually really enjoy it. It's usually in the pharmacy side and I'm in the front or the back. Oh, but it's just fun to help come out and say hi and oh. see how my day is going. I really enjoy it. Somehow it works and we, we enjoy it. So it works well. I love that. And I love going into the pharmacy. I like the drive through because it's easy, but I love going in because the gifts are amazing. I always find something I need. I, think I noticed <laughs> that you carried a bag in today. <gasps> <Yes>! <laughs> I, I, I recognized it right away. I did. The bag I carried in today, I got the pharmacy and I got it several years ago, but it's been one of my favorite bags of all time. You're the buyer for all that fun stuff. I am. <gasps> Fun. You've got great taste. <laughs> and you're not afraid to try something new, Tammy. Uh, hello, I'm on a video with you. So. Um. <laughs> you're such a good sport. I'm telling I, you. I told Marcy, if anybody else asked me to do this, I would not do it. But I cannot say no to this amazing woman. So sweet. <laughs> and we were discussing what recipes to do. And Tammy gave me this list. And I thought, I want to do all of them. <laughs> to do today, Tammy? Well, we're going to make creme brulee. <gasps> creme brulee! Oh, I'm so excited. Tammy, I have to ask you, do you have a little fire thing? Do you know what I do? But here's what I use. Oh. I, I use Jim's torch from the shed. <laughs> because the little kitchen one, it takes too long. Oh. I use the big torch from the garage. That makes me so happy. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. The big torch. Five yes. ingredients. And look, is this the same as your teapot? It is. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love it. And I mean, black is the new black. <laughs> and you and Jim love to travel. We do love to travel. What's one yes. of your favorite trips you've done? I mean, it would have to be our honeymoon. We went, <gasps> we went to Paris for our honeymoon. Oh! Was it your first time to go to Paris? It was my second time. I had been there one other time. Wow! So, yeah. And what was your favorite part? Probably just being with Jim in the city of love. I mean, I feel like Paris is synonymous with, with love, and so it was just fun to be there. And of course, after a wedding, it's really nice to go on a vacation because the wedding is so much fun. That's 
a great point. I love yeah. that. Is there any place that you and Jim have on a bucket list that you want to go that you have not gone oh. as of yet? We are hoping next year to go to New Zealand and Australia. So that's Ooh, on our list. Yes. Uh, so we'll see. <gasps> that's so fun. We may have to do another show in here and, you know, talk about your trip. Who knows? I <laughs> should have done a quick tour from Paris. A what? A croque monsieur. It's oh, gazoot I love everything you're saying. I don't it's, understand it's it. It's a but... French ham and cheese sandwich. <gasps> it just sounds fancy. French ham and cheese? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're so yeah. going to do that next. Yeah. Well, my granddaughter <laughs> and I always read fancy Nancy books. And so, oh, that's so um, fun. Harper always tells me I'm fancy and I oh. think she's fancy. And she books, what a compliment. I love that you spent time with your sweet granddaughter. Oh, oh she's special. She just, are... She's turning seven. Everett, my grandson, just turned four. Oh, so it's just a really fun They time. are such blessings they are. from the Lord. And and I love how you take time to pour in. And you're going to go see Harper sing at a concert tonight, I am. You? I am. I mean, we've watched soccer and <gasps> softball and um, oh. dance and oh. singing. So it's, it's all fun. We love it all. It's all fun. And you do it together and you're supportive. So Tammy, what are we going to do first for our creme brulee? So you scald the cream. Okay. Um, basically, it's three cups of heavy cream that you put in a pan. Yum. And you just want to put it on about medium high. So I put it on six or seven. And you just want to do it until you see bubbles on the outside of the pan. You don't want it to boil. I have all these notes in my app. So I was, I was telling Marcy awesome. how my mom and my sisters and I have an app that we use. And it's called Paprika. Ooh. You have how many sisters? I have two sisters. Sisters are awesome. I have three. I love them. And so my recipes that are tried and true. If it is not tested oh. and a favorite of the family, it does not go in my app. So anything that's in the that. test phase doesn't make it to the app. Is it a free app? It's a free app. Free is my favorite um, price. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. The fun thing about it too is I was telling Marcy that um, my mother has um, little notes in her recipes. So she, we all kept asking her for recipes and she kept having to give it to us. And so finally we did this app where we can all share and then I can add recipes. But if Marcy wants a recipe, I can go in there and I can email it to her right from the app. But oh, I love that. Mostly I love the notes that my mom writes oh. on her recipes. We've had to force her to quantify things because <laughs> she was like, I don't know how much I use. Oh. Like, well, she would make notes about favorite. Um, this was Tam's favorite dessert or my sister Krista's favorite oh. dessert or my sister Debbie. It was her favorite oh. dessert. My mom's pretty incredible. So. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> well, I can't wait to meet your mom. She sounds amazing and moms are the best. Oh, what do we do next? So you scald the heavy cream. Scalding the cream right now. And as you can see, it's starting to bubble just on the outside. So we'll turn it off. That means it's hot enough. You don't want it to boil. <laughs> now, now, now we need to put the eggs in. So it is one extra, extra large, large egg yolks and one extra large full egg. And Tammy, you have these adorable little bowls. Do you measure everything before you cook? Well, I do because <gasps> there's been a couple of times that you do a recipe and you're just starting to put it all together. And yes. then you get down and you realize there's something I don't have. <laughs> and now all of a sudden I have to run to the store. Because yeah. it's halfway together. Yeah. So I always try to get all of my ingredients, lots of little things like this. And so I just try to get them all. They're so cute. <laughs> it's like a little dolly bowl. Does Harper come and play in your... Harper <laughs> and Everett both like to cook. Oh. Yeah. They both have stools, so they pull their stools up. Oh, and of course, I love Harper's that. getting tall enough now, she doesn't really need a stool, oh. but Everett, of course, still needs a stool. That's so much fun. <laughs> and I love that you measure everything out. That tracks because of your organization. That's such a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> and your KitchenAid is beautiful. You have that uh, this fun bowl. Thank I love you. it. You. I like so the great. hammer. The hammer bowl is kind of fun. It's like jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I know. I got one for Beth that I love too. It's white. It looks ceramic. Ooh. And it's just kind of got, you know, a little bit of a pattern. It's really pretty. Ooh, I mean, if you're going to accessorize yourself, you have to accessorize <laughs> the kitchen, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a little uh, insight into me that I probably love that. Me sometimes. I think he <laughs> loves it. It's one of your best qualities. <laughs> then you add a teaspoon of vanilla oh. extract. Also, Tammy, I walked in and saw pecans on the stove. Oh. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, Marcy and I decided to do lunch after this. Because how fun! I know. Why not have lunch? Because we're together. Yeah, absolutely. I know. Why not? And I always have um, homemade candy pecans in my freezer. And I ran wow. out, and so I thought, well, I should. I didn't want to not have candy pecans on. I mean, salad. holidays especially. The girls love salads, yes. so we do a lot of fun salads, and it's just wow. a candy pecan just. 
you know, it elevates makes it. life like better. <laughs> and now I'm adding a tablespoon <gasps> of Grand Marnier. So you say it so any bougie. Brand. We're having so much fun talking, but really, <laughs> this does not take very long. It's a really simple <laughs> recipe. Honestly, if you can cook something simple and hang out with a girlfriend, oh, why not do that? I love that <laughs> so much. The best. And so the next thing we want to do is we want to add the cream, the warm cream to it. Oh. Okay. So I checked my app and I was like, I know there's sugar in here. So there's a half a cup of sugar. And so we'll add that in there. Some of my pans just don't pour very well. So I just have this kind of squeezable measuring cup. But I pour the cream in that and then it's really easy. So this you want to incorporate slowly because you don't want to cook the eggs. Oh my goodness. And I love this cup. It's just a really easy way to get it in there. Um, the keto one I did, I whisked it and it was fine <gasps> as well. So you really, you hand whisked it? Yeah, but it, it, <laughs> That's amazing! I love it. Woo! I need to hang out with Marcy more often. She's so good for my eating. Same! <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel like I can leave tall buildings in a single bound just by hanging out with Marcy. No, she can't. Y'all know this. <laughs> That's nice and incorporated. Ooh. So then you turn it off. Beautiful. And then we just need to pour that in our ramekin. So <gasps> some of your mixer bowls actually have the pouring spout. Mine does okay. not. Okay. I will pour that in here as well because then I can pour yes. in the ramekins really easily. But you could use a measuring cup or oh. you know, whatever you wanted to use. Yeah, good idea. And we'll pour this okay. in here. You did a want great job. All of that yummy goodness in there. Oh. And then we'll get the pan and bring that over and we'll fill it up. Yay! Okay, we're done with the mixer, and of course, I always put it away, but I have this little hack. If anybody has the little plastic cutting boards, I turn mine upside down because the underside, of course, is very slick. Technically, the other side of it is rubbery so that when you're cutting stuff, it doesn't slip, but I put it on this, and then it just slides right oh, into place. Love that. that. Those mixers are heavy. They're heavy. They're really heavy. That's so. the best idea ever. <laughs> So you can have any sort of a dish that you want. I've got six ramekins in here, just a nice size ramekin. But think about also what you're going to do where you're serving it. Because you know, sometimes the, the smaller dishes, if it's some sort of a dessert type bar where people will have multiple desserts, then you might Ooh. use a smaller ramekin. I just feel like I have to be a little more precise with the boiling <laughs> water to not get it in the creme brulee. So I will just go around after it's a little less full. Okay. And there's kind of a ridge in the ramekins. A lot of times I'll try to fill up to that ridge. Whoa. You should be able to get six out of one batch. Okay. I don't know. I'm cutting it close. I'm cutting That's it okay. close. Living on the edge. The nice thing is there's always someone that ate too much dinner and they want just a little bit of dessert. So now I have someone to fill I've read about people who want a little dessert. I always want a lot of dessert, but no, I mean, I that's just me. <laughs> now this is the part to me that is the hardest. Okay. Um, so, Listen closely. So you have to fill to halfway up the ramekin with boiling water. So I have my tea kettle, which I boil the water in. Again, the trick is pouring it in. So if you don't have a tea kettle, okay. you know, try to get something that you can pour from that has yes. that pour stuff that won't, you know, spill. Because you really need to get that water in here without getting it in your creme brulee cup. So you pour the water about halfway up. This is how you get it to be custardy. So you put that in there, then you're going to put it in the oven. You could try to just take a hot pad and maybe jiggle one of them. And if you get just a mild jiggle, then they're done. If you get a little bit too much movement, especially in the middle, if you can really see it ripple too much, okay. you know they're not quite done. I love that specificity. I'm a detail girl. I love that. So. I love that. We love the details. <laughs> now I'm going to put this in the oven. It is a 300 degree oven and it will go on for 50 minutes. <gasps> Yay! And then let's dance. Okay. <laughs> to 45 minutes not 45 to 50. So, I love corrections. Um, I jiggled them after 35 minutes. It wasn't set up enough and okay. so I put them in for five more minutes. Oh. If you do this right when they come out of the oven they'll be too hot. Okay. So I just okay. take my tongs. Ooh. Hopefully they taste good. They're so fun. And y'all while they were baking Tammy made us these gourmet chicken salads that were so yummy. I'm gonna put the picture on there because they were so good. I will let these cool for 10 minutes. And then you put them in the fridge. 
I okay. think the longer they're in the fridge, the better. So no matter what, it's going to taste great. Oh, it's just a matter no. of how custardy you like it. So sometimes if you put them in the fridge and maybe you only have an hour, that's fine. But if you have three or four hours, they really will set up nicely and they'll have that firmness I like a typical creme brulee does. Oh, yum. So you can actually freeze these. So let's just say you're having a party. First of all, you could make these a couple days in advance and oh. put them in the fridge. Oh my goodness. Holidays, I love that wow. because anything I can make ahead of time for a holiday. Amen, girl. Yes. So if you want to do them ahead of time, you can make them a couple days ahead of time and they can be in the fridge for a couple of days, no problem. Perfect. Or if you want to freeze them, <gasps> I usually just put mine, I have a Tupperware container with a nice airtight seal. Nice. And I'll freeze them. And this is honestly Jim's favorite. Oh, so, I love that. Every time we go someplace, he said, oh, it's not as good as you are. <gasps> I think he's probably just trying to be nice. That's wonderful. <laughs> he loves you. You're making it with love for him. And yeah. I love that. <laughs> so you let these cool, put them in the fridge. Okay. And then, but I do happen to have some in the fridge. So we'll do a little presto change -o. Oh, I love we'll, it. We'll get out the torch and we'll fire up the sugar. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Okay. Here it is. Look this at is it. No tiny kitchen torch. Big torch. I love that torch. <laughs> this is Jim's. <laughs> the tool so shed. I, I think I it. use it more in the kitchen than he uses it in the tool shed. Uh, so I made the keto creme brulee earlier and wow. then we made the regular creme brulee on the video wow. so but i'm testing out the keto one i'm gonna put a monk fruit sugar on top which is a sugar alternative monk fruit and i've never tried to do that with the torch so i don't know how it crisps up you okay. know like hey you get that nice kind of hard surface on that. Yes, them. Ooh, I so, can't wait. I've never used monk fruit sugar. That's so fun. If you use swerve or anything like that, they're not granulated. So the oh. nice thing about the monk fruit is that it's more granulated. Oh, and how much are you putting on here? Do you know, you get the sugar too thick, okay. your torch kind of burns it before it all gets crystallized. Oh, okay. So I probably used a half a teaspoon here. We'll do a half a teaspoon oh. of the regular this sugar so on the other one. <laughs> oh. I love it. And we'll see if they kind of burn up the same. I don't have a kitchen torch. I bet Rick has a oh, torch sure. like that in the shop Rick's or one of the shops. Got multiple <laughs> so we're going to get the torch going and um, you just have to do this and then you just light it like that. <laughs> and so you want to usually just kind of hold it up a little bit. You don't want to oh. do your sugar too fast. <gasps> Goodness. So you just want to get that sugar nice and caramelized. Oh my goodness, that's so much fun! <laughs> you go to restaurants, one of the yes. fun things about the creme brulee is oh. you kind of take your spoon and you oh, break that tap crispy it. top. Yes. That's, that's my sister Shani's favorite that's creme brulee. That's my favorite thing to do is to break that top out. Oh yes, it's so fun. And this one is the monk fruit. That's the monk fruit. So let's okay. see how the regular, regular sugar, sugar. burns <gasps> versus the monk fruit. This is fruit. so exciting. Oh my <laughs> goodness, this is so fun! So A, I never thought I'd use a torch, so, and B, so I didn't think I'd be using a torch in the kitchen. <laughs> you turn, turn it off. Turn that off. So you want to let that sit so that the sugar can harden before okay. you take your spoon and dig into it. So wow. We'll let that sit for just a few minutes, Yay. and then we'll try to get into it. Tammy, thank you so much for, for doing a show with me today. <laughs> I And your kitchen has been such a delight, and it's just fun hanging out together. It has been fun hanging Just fun hanging out with you. I love that whenever I can. And I've learned so much from her today. It's amazing. We could probably have a three hour show with just what you're talking <laughs> today in the kitchen. But y'all, thanks so much for being with us and have a wonderful week. Try this creme brulee, you know, get your torch from your shop instead yep. of your <laughs> kitchen. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>